In this video, we're using Pentester Labs SQL to Shell ISO as our vulnerable web application. I'm using a fresh install of Kali 2. I'll provide the links to both of those as well as all of the commands that I use in the description of this video. We're going to identify some SQL injection vulnerabilities in this site. We're going to use SQL Map to grab passwords out of its database. We're going to upload a PHP backdoor with Weavly. Um, we're going to exfiltrate some data and create a TCP reverse listener. So when we first browse to the site, we see in the URL there is a field and value passed ID equals 1. As we click other tabs, we see that change to 2, 3. This is just uh, running a query on a database, so let's see if we can modify that with a minus 1. And we do return the same value as if it were ID equals 2. Um, that means that we can modify the query in this database. So what I'm going to do is put a single quotation mark in here to see if we can break any queries to determine if there's a SQL injection possible. We do get a SQL error, um, so that means that this website is vulnerable to SQL injection. So what we're going to do is use SQL map to see if we can list the database contents behind this vulnerable site. We're going to use the command SQL map attack you, the uh, URL of the site with tac tac dbs to list the database names. If found in MySQL database, we're not going to run any more database discovery tests. It determined the perimeter ID was vulnerable. No, we're not going to run any further tests. And it lists two databases for us, Information Schema and Photo Blog. So we're going to select the database Photo Blog with tac capital D. Photo Blog. Then we want to list the tables with tac tac tables. Categories, pictures, users. We want to select the tac capital T tables users and we want to list the columns in those table in that table ID login and password we're going to select all of those with tac capital C ID comma login comma password no spaces there then space tac tac dump to grab any hashes from those columns and it's found a hash it's, we do not want to save to a temporary file, but we do want to crack with a dictionary. Number one, our default dictionary. No to common password suffixes. Correct a password. Correct a hash. and it's going to list the contents ID equals one login admin the hash and the password that was cracked we're going to use this to log into the site and we have access now we're going to use this add new picture function to upload our PHP backdoor using Weavly the default uh, Weebly instance in Kali throws errors for me so we're gonna have to download PySox and Weebly from GitHub. First we're gonna download PySox. We're gonna install PySox. Now we're gonna download Weebly. Now we're going to create our PHP backdoor. We're going to use the command python, weebly.py. We're going to generate the backdoor with the password hacked. Then we're going to store that file on root, desktop, and we're going to call it web.php.jpx. And that is because when we attempt to upload a .php file, the server 
um, blacklists that extension. So if we call it something else, JPX, APX, um, that file isn't checked or that extension isn't checked and it successfully uploads. So we're going to generate this backdoor. And we're going to upload this file. It's uploaded. I'm going to click on it. It's assigned to ID equals 4. We're going to right click on this site and select View Page Source to determine where this file is actually being called from. And we're going to use that information in Weavly to connect to this site remotely or this server remotely. We see it's called from admin uploads web.php.jpx. So that's what we're going to pass to Weavly. Python, Weavly.py, the IP address, the location of the file, and then the password that we used for this file. And now we have remote access to the server. So what we're going to do is list the contents of this directory. We see a couple PNG, JPG, a JPX, R file. Now we want to download one of these files and we're going to do that with the Weavly command colon file underscore download. We're going to grab this hacker.png file. So we're going to list the command, the location of the file, admin, uploads, hacker.png, and the location on our machine that we want to download it to root desktop and call it hacker.png as well. And we check our de desktop and we have the file. So now we want to create a TCP reverse listener and connect to it using Weavly. We're going to open a new terminal in Kali. We're going to issue the command netcat tac l tac p to listen on port 5412. Now in Weavly, we're going to use the command colon backdoor underscore reverse TCP. We're then going to pass the IP address of Kali and tell it what port to connect to 5412. And now we have a TCP backdoor. Thanks for watching.